Here it comes from the wonderful Bob's Magic Emporium in beautiful sunny Maryland. Bigger and better than ever. Game shows, magic, and a whole lot more coming up on the new Talk is Right. And now, here's your host, the magic man of Maryland, Mr. 444RR. Welcome back to Bob's Magic Emporium. Time for the next all new... The New Talk is Right, the weekly UCAS with game shows, magic, and more. Round of applause to our wonderful announcer, the Zachman18. Good job. Um, now, a few things I want to talk about before we get to the show today. It's uploaded a little late today because, well, I've been out all day working and then uh, out partying. Woot, woot. But my surprise came today. It's actually sitting right over there. You can't see it. But it's for the new show, Spin for a Million, which will be starting this coming Friday. So make sure to watch out for that. There's an announcement video posted yesterday, so if you want to be a contestant, go watch that video and then post, uh, I want to be a contestant in the comments down below, uh, if you want to be a, a contestant for season one of Spin for a Million. And all you have to do is just put your name down. You don't need Skype, you don't need Google Plus or anything like that, because <coughs> it's just going to be the use of your name as a contestant. And you'll see more when the first episode airs. Also, uh, you can sign up on all future episodes of Spin for a Million Season 1, so you can definitely do that. And th that's going to be replacing the School of Magic for about a month when we get through all the contestants. And I have an a, uh, advertising uh, bulletin I'd like to post, a want ad. I'm, I'm uh, wanted, uh, for me, an announcer for Spin for a Million. <coughs> so, if you'd like to be the announcer, the official announcer for Spin for a Million, please send me a message, or post in the comments down below, I'd like to be your announcer. Um, there is a, one qualification is uh, I would like for you to be uh, a subscriber, of course, and also have a really good game show announcer voice. I'd like to have somebody with a really good announcer's voice, like Zach, uh, who does the intro for this show, has a really good voice. I would have contacted Zach to do it, but I didn't want him to be the announcer for two shows. So I want to get somebody fresh in here to be the announcer for Spin for a Million. So if you want to be the announcer, I have the script already. Just shoot me a message or comment down below. All right, with all that out of the way, let's get to today's show. The first thing I want to talk about is, uh, of course, Game Show News and Monopoly Millionaires Club. Talked about this show a lot. Todd Newton's the co-host. Billy Gardell's the main host of Mike and Molly. And the official premiere date is now set in stone March 31st. How do I know it's set in stone? Well, it's going to air on GSN. So GSN does not change up their premiere dates. When they say it's going to premiere on this day, it will. And it's pretty cool GSN's picked it up. A little bit of tidbit, though. Um, GSN's going to air it in the same time slot as The Chase. So interesting move on their part. So we'll see what happens. Let's we'll see what happens. Originally, the show was supposed to be uh, local, a local show for different markets. But since GSN's picked it up, who knows about the fate of it? It could come back for more than one season, so very cool. And it was filmed at the Rio in uh, Las Vegas. Very exciting there. All right, Family Feud had an interesting rule change or bring to life. I don't even know uh, what this is. But Steve Harvey said on Family Feud this past week, if a contestant wins all five games, they obviously win the car. Uh, that's been a rule for a while. But if the contestant wins all five games... And all five fast money games, they not only win the car, they get an extra $25,000 on top of all the cash that they've won. So that means their total would be $125,000. Now, people online have been saying they're not sure if this has been a recent rule change or if it's been something on the books for a while. But Steve Harvey and none of the other previous hosts have ever said this rule's in the books. So who knows, but it's still an interesting rule nonetheless. It, doesn't, it won't happen that often where a family's going to win all five fast monies as well. <clears throat> but it has happened where they've given away the car before. All right. And uh, congratulations to Rick Gallen. Yeah, I'm sure I butchered that, but Gallen. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, this past week, he won $100,000. So very, very exciting to him. I'm excited. I hope you all are excited uh, for Rick Gallen as well. And also, Idiot Test is now casting for season two, but they're looking for somebody special for Idiot Test this new season. They're casting two teams of two, but of kids, ages 11 to 16. So if you're in the Los Angeles area, you live in the Los Angeles area, and you want to be a part of Idiot Test when you're 11 to 16, uh, <coughs> go to the Los Angeles Craigslist, and you'll see it right on there. 
when you search for it. Alright, so that's going to do it for this week's game show news, and now the magic-related news. Uh, there is a, well, first of all, I gotta say, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still getting over my cold. Major congratulations to at Chris Ballinger. Yes, the guy who uh, used to do the video demos for Magic Geek. Round of applause to him because he was on this past week's Wizard Wars. If you haven't seen it, they did a really awesome trick. I will say that, um, you know, Chris did not come up with a better illusion. The uh, other team did. They had a really awesome presentation. And, but I gotta tell you, it didn't matter. I was, of course, I'm biased. I was rooting for Chris to go all the way to the Wizard War and win the whole thing. He didn't. But I will say that if you didn't see Wizard Wars this week, you need to see it. The trick that Justin Flom and Billy Kidd did, I'm not gonna give anything away. It blew away the judges, it blew away the whole audience, and it blew away me. I don't know how they did it, but it was pretty cool. Uh, so you definitely want to check it out. So it was it was a great episode of Wizard Wars, probably one of my favorite episodes ever. So good good job to Chris Ballinger. And again, yes, I am biased, but congratulations to everybody who gets on that show, whether you are on season one or in season two. Congratulations, guys, because that's a big honor to get on that show. Because you know they they pick the best of the best. So good job. I'd love to go on it one day. I really would love to go on Wizard Wars. I think it'd be awesome to be on there. All right. And finally, the last piece of magic-related news. There wasn't much news this week for anything. The last magic-related news is a video, actually. There's a video online that's been making its rounds around the magic circles. And, it's, and the name of the video is up, it's up on YouTube. You can go check it out. Hilarious Kid Volunteer Outsmarts Magician. You have got to check it out because this, is, this video is a magician's dream. Uh, the, it's a little kid, kid volunteer, comes up on stage, He's the perfect volunteer. He's just like you. Any kid perform, any kid magician wants a kid like this. And the magician is so on par with his jokes and so on top of them all. You got to check him out because it makes you really think, wow, this guy's good. I need to learn from him because he's really good. His delivery is spot on and perfect. So go check it out. It's called Hilarious Kid Volunteer Outsmarts Magician. And if you Art a magician, still check it out because it's a very funny video. Uh, it's, it's, it's a great routine where they, he does an egg bag routine, but it's very hilarious. All right. And finally, uh, we have the magic related, or we have the, the random news that I've heard. First of all, I want to say, I don't know if it's really a congratulations or if it's, uh, you know, poo, I don't know. But I know a lot of uh, subscribers here on this channel are big WWE fans. And there's a story going around. If you don't know, uh, WWE, of course, is the pro wrestling, enter uh, world wrestling entertainment. And they've been around for, since the 80s, when they used to be World Wrestling Federation. That's when they rocked for me, anyway. I grew up with when they were WWF and they had the Attitude Era. And I did watch that. I know Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock. They were my favorite. <coughs> and The Undertaker, too. But... Uh, WWE superstar Rey Mysterio, he used to be a uh, Mexican luchador wrestler, and he, then he wrestled for the, uh, now owned by WWE, but it was owned by Ted Turner, which was uh, World Championship Wrestling, WCW, he used to wrestle there, and now he wrestles for WCW, or WWE. Well, he was recently let go of his contract, poo, but he's now wrestling with a uh, Mexican wrestling organization now, he, he was out of his contract, and there was a big social media campaign called, um, uh, Free Ray, or, yeah, fr uh, hashtag Free Ray, I think is what it was. So, congrats to him. I know WWE overworked him, and he got injured all the time, because he was one of WWE's biggest superstars. He was one of the faces, now not the face, but he was one of the secondary faces of the company. And they overworked him, and he always got injured. So, And that's the only thing I don't like now about WWE. They, they push their superstars to keep going. Like, from reports that I've heard, The Undertaker will be back at WrestleMania this year. The guy is only like, I think I heard he's only like 40, I think like 41, 42, but he looks like he's 60 because he's been worked that much. So, and it showed at last year's WrestleMania against Brock Lesnar. I saw highlights of the match. Um, he didn't look very good. And Brock Lesnar, because everything, <coughs> sorry, spoiler alert, everything's all pre-scripted. He wasn't supposed to lose that match against Brock Lesnar. He was supposed to win. And uh, what was supposed to happen is, since Sting made his return this year, 
He was supposed to fight Sting this year, which I think is still going to happen. I think it's going to be Triple H, Sting, and uh, Undertaker, from what I've heard in wrestling circles. But it was supposed to be Sting, and he was supposed to lose to Sting this year. And he was supposed to get the streak broken this year by Sting. But unfortunately, he got it broken last year because he, I think he injured himself during the match is what I heard. And that's why Brock Lesnar won last year. It was not planned like that. Uh, Vince McMahon did not plan that at all. Enough about wrestling, though. I know that most of you probably don't even care about that. All right, I know a few of my subscribers, like uh, Matt from LA, uh, Mike from LA One, and Brendan Shepard. I know they both like WWE, and I and I occasionally watch it sometimes. And there's nothing good on TV, but the '90s were the best for WWE. It was the best because everything was unscripted, really. I mean, you never know what was going to happen each week, and the storylines weren't as predictable as they are now. I, I can see what happens a mile away. Like, I know this guy's going to win the championship, or he's going to lose it, or he's not going to win it, or whatever. I know exactly what's going to happen. Back in the 90s, you really didn't know. All right, next story. Enough about that. All right, next story. Oh, I want to make a, uh, uh, before I move on to these two stories, I want to uh, talk about the bacon with crust story that I talked about last week, the Little Caesars uh, bacon crust, uh, crusted pizza. I was, I was hoping to have that Wednesday night and give you a review of it this week, but since I got sick this week, I didn't feel up to eating bacon pizza, so hopefully I'll have bacon pizza sometime this week and give you a review next week of it. Alright, next story is um, Matt Stone. Matt Stone, yes, we'll do this story, it is a competitive eater, and he made history last week at the Daytona 500. The Daytona 500 had a competitive eating competition for bacon. This guy ate the most bacon in five minutes. Now, I think I could eat more than this guy. I'm just saying, I love bacon. But Matt Stone, at the Daytona 500 last week, ate 182 slices of bacon in five minutes. Wow, congratulations to you. Um, I really hope his prize was a trip to the doctor, because that's a lot of bacon. That's a heart attack waiting to happen right there, I tell you. I mean, I love bacon, but I don't think I need 100, 182 slices of it in five minutes. That's some dedication. That's when you really love bacon. I kind of was probably getting the meat sweats afterwards. Oh, God, I didn't want to think about that. And the last story is about a guy in Massachusetts. Now, of course, as you know, this winter has been brutal for everybody uh, because the, the uh, Arctic air has been kind of sweeping down even into the like Texas and, and New Mexico this year. But New England's been getting hammered with snow. And this guy is sick of the snow. They've gotten feet of snow up in Boston and Maine and Vermont. So this guy has started a website called ShipSnowYo.com. ShipSnowYo.com. And for $89, he will ship you six pounds of snow. Hey, you got to get rid of the snow. And if you're somewhere where you maybe had to move down south to Florida or maybe move out west to California and you're not getting snow and you miss it, I don't know who'd miss the snow because it's a pain in the butt, and we're supposed to get, we're supposed to get more snow here tomorrow too, snow and ice and all that. But if you want snow, you can have it for eighty nine dollars, six pounds of it, or for one hundred and nineteen dollars, you can get ten pounds of snow. So yeah, or if you just want a little bit of a snow fill for twenty bucks, you can get a water bottle size of snow. Again, more power to this guy for shipping out six pounds of snow. You know why not? And, and, you're probably saying to yourself, who in their right mind would buy six or ten pounds of snow? According to a, the, the uh, local news, when I heard this story, people are actually buying this guy's snow. Just goes to show you, you can sell anything you want on the internet. Alright, well that's going to do it for this week. Uh, I want to go over the key points again, a spin for a million. Yesterday's video that I posted, so that would be Friday's video, uh, make sure to go on there and put, I want to be a contestant please, in the comments so I can get you signed up for a contestant, and if some people don't put their name down, I'm going to put some people in that I know will want to be contestants, or more than likely, uh, a few of them being like Zachman18, Brendan Shepard, I'll put him down, if he doesn't, Ryan Hardy, um, so yeah, those are, and also if you want to be the announcer, remember you're going to have a good game show voice, because I need a real upbeat, high energy game show announcer for Spin for a Million, you can put that in the comments below of this video saying, please let me be the announcer. All right. That's going to do it. Oh, and by the way, first person to send me a message or a comment down below will be the person who gets to be the announcer for Spin for a Million. And, of course, it's my decision, 
So if I deem you not to have a good game show voice, I will let you know. <laughs> and you won't be able to be the announcer. No, I'm kidding. Probably whoever messaged me first will get the job, but we'll see. we will definitely have to see. All right, that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's The New Talk is Right. And I will see you tomorrow for the second episode of The Final Countdown. And for all the new seven, hashtag seven days of new content right here on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. If you'd like to see more awesome content, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. New videos are posted every day of the week. Also, check out my website and register so you can post in the forums. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Like me on Facebook. Add me to your Google Plus circles. And check out my merchandise store to pick up some awesome swag. 444RR. Game shows, magic, and more.